Hi, my name's Darren Trainer. I'm the Chief Instructor here at KSI Legacy in Birmingham. My sister today is Simon Whitehead. What we're going to do is do a tutorial for the Warrior Collective on five ways to stop an aggressive puncher with your kicks. Right, the first bit, obviously, with kicking, you need to be at the right distance. There's no good, obviously, letting the puncher get kind of here because obviously, this is where he's going to deliver most of his power. It's hard for him to do any kicking. Right, so the first bit, I want to kick this range. My partner is now just going to come in, going jab cross, just step in, one, two. So obviously he's trying to travel that distance so we can start getting in the punching range. As he does it, I'm just going to go parry and straight away, I'm just going to fire that left body kicking straight through. Again, again, so parry, left kick when that cross comes. Worst case scenario, he doesn't throw the cross, he just throws his jab. Obviously I'll just kind of kick across the arms from there. Right, what this is doing, if you notice, most people, not all, are right-handed. So if you're fighting right-handed, it's better to throw a lot of left kicks. Because if you look, if someone just throws his right arm out as if he's throwing his cross, so his arm's out from there, right? If I go right kick now, I'm kind of naturally moving into it. So it's a bit risky if he's got like heavy hands to keep firing right round those kicks. Where if you look from here, when I go left kick, I naturally move away. So it's safe if he's trying to land that big right punch on me. And again, so if he goes jab cross, go parry, so I'm going to go left kick. Look at my arm as well, and again, it's my arms up, covering my face. I don't want to be, and again, don't want to be down that way where that potentially can land. You need to get that shoulder in, one for more power, and two to protect your chin. Okay, show from a different angle so you can see. So again, so you go jab, cross, parry, so you go left kick, and back to your stance, and again, so you parry, left kick, and then back to position. Okay, right, this time we're going to practice is like you'll get, like I say, heavy punches where if someone throws a kick, they kind of block the kick this way and they're going to come up blasting and trying to knock you out. Right, first bit, all I'm going to do is I'm going to fire this right kick in. Normally, don't do anything, so after I've kicked, I'll kick and I'll land from where I've come from. This time, because I've seen a fight, I've realised he's trying to like punch my head off. I'll kick him, as he fires that punch at me now, I'm going to step out of range, I'm getting right out of distance. And if you look at my foot as well, so I've kicked, as I've landed, I've lifted this leg up from there. Right from there, we're going to front kick him as he rushes in. So Simon's going to land four punches on me. So I'm going to kick, move back, I'm going to stop him with that front kick. <clears throat> again and again, so I'm coming through. So I'm fighting the kick, move back, and go front kick. So the opposite leg, we're doing the left one. So I'll switch, I'll fire that kick through. I step this one behind now, lift that right leg up, and that's the one that's going to stop him. Okay, I'll show you that one from this angle. So I'm going from here. So I'll go switch, move back, and you're going to go front kick. Again, again. So I'll go switch, move back range, front kick, and then back to position. This one's similar footwork, so I'm getting out of range. But as he comes in with the four punches now, let me kick first. So as I throw the kick in, he comes four punches, so I'll come back, back, and I'll fire that kick through straight away. So you're making that distance up, making it hard for him to land. And again, so I'll go kick, one, two, fire that kick in. Okay, so from this angle, and again, so I'm going to go kick, one, two, kick, and then come back to your stance. Make sure your footwork as well, don't waddle. What I mean by that is, don't kick and then kind of turn your body, turn it, it's going to take far too long, it's got to be in a straight line with your legs. So after I've kicked, it's a straight line, straight line, so I can fire that kick in from there. Right, the next one, what we're going to do, similar to someone's trying to block in this way, and they're trying to blast in. As I throw the kick now, if he kind of fires off that same side arm, so that hook's coming in, see his ribs are exposed from there, right? So what I'm going to do, as he comes to landing with four punches, I'll kick, and I'm going to kick again, straight away. Okay, what I'll do, I'll show from the left leg now, so remember, if I throw that left kick in, there's a high chance that someone defends, and that big right hand's going to come flying at me. Right, so all I'm going to do is going to land those four punches on me, so I'll fire the kick, and straight away I'm going to land that body kick from there. Okay, and again, so I double it up, so you kick, and straight away fire that in to stop that punch from coming. And again, so you kick, kick. Remember, look at that arm, so I'm covering my face at the same time. One more. So I'm going to kick, kick, and then back to your stance. Show from a different angle. Okay, and again, so I'll fire that kick, and then to stop it from landing. And again, one more. So you're going to kick, kick. Okay, this arm's really important. Okay, so make sure you're throwing that kick comes across, so your chin is covered by your shoulder. Okay, last one I'm going to do, again, it's all about keeping that range, is kicking long. Right now, normally, when you throw your kick, you want to be upright, okay, to make sure your body weight travelling forwards, so you're getting full momentum on the fight. Try and think of it now, uh, in a, a Muay Thai contest, we'll be way ahead on the scorecards, 
The only way Simon's got to win is by knocking me out, okay, so there's no point really trying to engage him if um, I've already won. Right, so I'm gonna fight. So rather than just kind of like covering up and letting the right tee off on me, when I throw the kick, rather than staying dead straight where that, if he throws that punch, it's gonna connect. So I'll keep the distance, so I'll see I kick long. Okay, so I'm gonna lean back slightly, so it's hard for him to fire any shots off on me. And again, using that footwork to keep the distance. Okay, and again, so he throws it in, up, so you're kicking through. And again, so you're going from there, kicking long, so you can't land. Thank you for watching this tutorial on five ways to defend an aggressive puncher with kicks. If you want to find out anything more about myself, please visit my gym website on www.k-legacy.co.uk. And for any more great videos, please check out the Warrior Collective's YouTube channel.